Hey y'all, my name is Sarah and this is my floss tube, Sarah Stitches. I just um, want to welcome everybody back. I hope your day is going good. Today's Tuesday, May 1st. Oh, it's hard to believe it's Tuesday, May 1st. Today is Tuesday, June 1st. <laughs> oh gosh, um, it's hard to believe it's June. I see I'm still trying to hang on to May. Um, it's, it's just hard, it's hard to believe. But um, I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day weekend. I just, um, before I go any farther, I, would, I just want to thank all the families that um, had loved ones that um, sacrificed their lives, that were take were give, giving their lives for our country and um, for our freedom and the, the importance of that for us to, you know, to be able to have the freedoms that we have. And I just, I just thank for the, I thank those families because those families had to um, go through a lot losing a loved one, and so that that cannot be easy. But um, I do, we did have. Um, my husband is a retired vet, and he never went to war, nothing like that. Matter of fact, he was, he had an injury in the military, so he had to, he got, he, he had a um, a medical discharge. And then my brother served eight years in the Marines. He, after his eight years was up, he didn't reenlist. He, he got out right before Persian Gulf. And um, so he did not, but I did have a uncle whose son um, was killed. Um, not, not in serve, not in war, nothing like that, but he was killed in a um, training activity. He was a, a fighter pilot. I don't know if it was for the Navy or the, um, Air Force. I was not even born. My mother was probably, um, there was a big age gap, um, between them. Um, my grandmother came from a very large family. She had 11 siblings and, um, my grandmother was one of the youngest in this particular brother whose son that was killed. Um, he was one of the oldest. So there was a big age gap. And so I think my mother, my mother was a young child at this point. And, um, anyway, he was in a, a, a training activity and they were landing their planes on the, um, oh, it just left me, the ships that carry the planes that, you know, they land on, aircraft carriers, that's it. And um, something was wrong with the plane and he crashed in the ocean. He did not survive it. But um, that's, that's, you know, as far as I know, that's the only military that we, we've had in our family. But, you know, we, um, we do try to remember the Memorial Day and what it stands for. But we also enjoy our barbecues and you know all that and but we did not cook out this year we always have family over and cook out but we didn't this year my husband was in a fishing tournament and so um it was just kind of very relaxing we had really pretty weather though wonderful temperature it was actually kind of on the cool side um you know people that were going to the lakes and trying to open up their pools i don't i bet you you froze because i'm sure it was still too cold to do that which is kind of unusual this time of year here in Arkansas. It's it's already hot, so but um, but yeah, I hope you know we it was it was all good. I'm I'm filming on a different day than normal. Um, this today is Tuesday, and I'm in a different area. I normally film in my living room, but because it's during the week and I don't ever know when the nurse is going to be here, I thought, well, let me kind of set up back here so that way if she does show up, I don't have to take everything down or have to walk around things and then to uh, you know she'd probably be like what's she doing and so um which i have to admit they're not nosy i can remember y'all when my mother first got on hospice um and the aide and nurse and everybody was, i felt like i had to have a spotless house because i feel like they'd be judging me <laughs> if my house wasn't clean and um but they're not they they don't even pay attention really and truly to what my house looks like i mean i still keep it clean don't get me wrong but i don't i don't kill myself like before I was wearing myself out cleaning because I did not want these people coming over and thinking that I was a horrible housekeeper and um but so that that is one good thing they don't they don't pay attention to to how my house looks so but um I just thought well I'll just film back here it'd be easier today and um so you know if this goes good maybe I'll I'll film back here more often this is my craft room slash junk room so I'm kind of thinking maybe if I do make this my area to film, maybe that will inspire me to get more motivated to get this room fixed up and look really cute because that is my goal. I really would like to have a cute craft room, but right now I just, just can't do it. But um, you see my treadmill over there. I don't ever use the treadmill. I always say, 
you know, um, I won't get that out and um, use it, but I have to move too much stuff around it. <laughs> I guess I'm too lazy. I don't know. But anyway, um, I, um, and then I got my heat press over there. I used to, I used to make a lot more t-shirts than what I do now. I am going to make some for my daughter's wedding when closer, closer time. She's wanting to do some shirts for her bridesmaids. But, um, so yeah, so this is mom um, in a different area. And so, um, I hope it goes good. Um, should not have any dog interruptions today. I know I always do because they're all outside and I'm in the back part of the house. So, um, shouldn't have any of those interruptions today. But, um, before I move on, I do have some FFOs. And before I move on, I do have a, a new floss tuber that I want to shout out. Um, her channel is Stitch with Mail. And I actually found out about her through a subscriber that we have in common. And I just want to thank Becky, but her name's Becky, for telling me about her. I really enjoy this girl's channel. And of course, she is from Northeast Arkansas, so that just that just made me even more excited. And um, she's not too far from my daughter, actually. I was um, real excited because when she started talking about her daughter's graduating high school, or has just recently, and had a very small graduating class. And where my daughter's fiance teaches, it's a small district. And I was like, oh, wouldn't that be neat if they lived in the same town? And then when I go visit Morgan, that's my daughter's name is Morgan, um, I can, we can stitch together. They live close by, but they're not in the same town. But, um, but yeah, I really, I like this, her channel. She's very relaxed, just kind of laid back about it. She, uh, um, she stitches. Uh, we have the same taste in a lot of the things that we stitch. Now, she is... Um, made several comments that she's going to start um, stitching more samplers. I do have some Quaker type samplers that um, I like and I've in the process, as a matter of fact, kitting up a Christmas one. But um, but yeah, she's got some really um, pretty stuff that, that she's stitching on and she did Stitch Mania, so you'll have to watch that and see what all she did in her latest video, what all she worked on during Stitch Mania. But the one thing I like about her channel is that she's got her own built-in fan club, y'all. Her family is so supportive of her stitching and her floss tube. And she has an aunt that stitches, and they are very supportive of one another. And I think they live real close by because they they trade stuff and give, give each other things all the time and stitch stuff for one another. And... Um, but her mom and dad watch her videos and comment, and it just kind of makes me think of my mom and dad, which is good, um, especially because, you know, if my dad was still alive and if my mother before dementia, if I had been doing this, oh, they would have loved this. They would have been all about it, watching it every week, and also like her parents. She said her parents were like, well, when's your next video? When's your next video? Mine would have been the same way. What, you know, when are you going to put your video up? And so it just, you know, I, I kind of... Um, I don't know if this is the right word, but it makes me think of my parents in a good way when um, when she talks about all that because it just makes me remember mine and, you know, how, how they would have been. So, um, yes, play, go, go watch her channel. I'm going to link it below. She's um, I really enjoy her channel, and I think you will too. Um, so, with that, I'm going to move on to my FFOs. I've got several. The first one I'm going to show is my Stitching with the Housewives Stars and Stripes. And I'm going to, um, y'all, I, I bought some, um, I'm going to get sidetracked here for a minute. Um, those nail, um, I don't know what you call them. They're like little nail stickers in a way. You put them on your nails and I really like them. I was like, I want to have some pretty nails. Now, I can't do the long acrylic nails because I have to move my mother around in the bed. And my nails don't naturally grow long. They'll start splitting and all that. I'm, they're not, I don't have very strong nails. But, um, so I had to keep them kind of short to keep, um, it just makes things easier with her. And then I'll take a chance of scratching her. But I really like them. And so I'm going to get some more. But, um, as you can see, I have a injury from all my hot gluing over the weekend. And a matter of fact, this one was the one that I injured myself on. I, um, I was gluing the rip rack on and I somehow or another I stuck my finger all in a big old wad of hot glue. Oh gosh, it burned. Well, I thought I was getting it off before it would um, harden up or whatever, but it, it still ripped all my skin off. And um, oh, it hurt. 
it hurts so bad. <laughs> the ninth eye's gonna cry, but um, it's okay now. It's still a little tender, but it's fine. But anyway, so that's that's why you're gonna see that that big old ugly looking scar thing. But I just put a little blue. Uh, red, white, and blue ribbon on it, and real cute. I'll link where I got this board. Uh, it came off Etsy. I can't remember the name of the store, but they have a whole bunch of different designs. Um, they, I know they have a mason jar, and they have a tag, and they have one that kind of looks like a cutting board, um, but real cute, and so I like to put my cups that I do with the Stitching with the Housewife, their cup series, on here. So that that's my stars and stripes. Then I have, and I don't know that where I got this um, pattern. I, I don't know what it is, but it's called, um, I guess it's called Liberty. I stitched this last year and I kind of redid the finish, which, you know, it's funny when I do these floss tubes and when I do my filming, I see things when I'm showing y'all, I see things that I've messed up on and I'm like, oh gosh, that looks horrible. And I'm looking at this one where, I, you know, I, it's all out of whack and so but you know what it is what it is I, I'm tired I'm not gonna redo it but um and I will say this I think there's something wrong with my cutting I have one of those cutters that has a handle that you can cut and I think something's wrong with it I really do I I try my hardest to to get those all lined up to get my mat boards all lined up and it never fails. It cut, to me, it cuts crooked. My husband, he laughs and he says it's the operator, not the machinery, it's the operator. And he's probably right. But I did, I've had some people say, and I've seen other floss tubers, they use those rotary cutters. So I bought me one at Walmart for especially to use that for, because I know you don't switch them out. And um, so maybe that, if I'd already done with all this by the time I did that. So maybe that will help, I don't know. But anyway, I'm happy with this. I think it looks cute. This is going to be in my house. And so um, I am going to get some patriotic pics to put in it. But this just was on a little, um, reminds me of a cheese grater um, from Hobby Lobby. And right now I just got it Velcroed on. I do. And maybe that's, maybe I just don't have it on straight. Maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe that's better. Now I'm going to mess with it and it's going to fall off. But um, anyway. I'm, I need to get me some magnets and washers. I really do. But um, I was real pleased with this. I thought it turned out cute. And then I've got, I finished um, Firework Lane by Little Stitch Girl. And I believe this board either is Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And I, just, I left this one plain on purpose for two reasons. I like it like this. And I've got, I plan on using this one for some other, I've got some Easter and some other things I want to use it for. So I didn't want to take the chance of putting something somewhere and then not liking it for and then taking the chance of messing it up. So I just, um, but I'm, I'm very, I like it like this. I think it looks real good. I did not stitch, it originally called for a lot more fireworks, but I did not stitch them. And um, this is just all on sticky board and I got red rip rack here. And then I've got this uh, material that I think came from Walmart. But um, yeah, I like it a lot. And then my next one is my For Freedom by Annie B's Folk Art. And this is one of my favorites. I love this one. This barn my husband made last year around Christmas. He cut out several. And we originally, I had um, made painted some barn doors on it and painted a wreath up in there and it had Merry Christmas in the middle and it had snow all over it. Really cute. And when Christmas comes, you know, when I start decorating for Christmas, I'll show it. But he cut out extra. And now at the time I was like, why are you cutting all these out? What am I going to do with all these? But now I'm glad he did because now I can, I got this as a display board. So I was really happy with this, but this is all on. Now this is the Chelsea checks and then it's got red rit rack. And then this star, I painted blue. It came from Dollar Tree. You get, um, I bought like three of them and they were a dollar each. And then the work, these letters, I got at Walmart and I just painted white. But I really like this. I think this is so cute. So I'm just to start pulling out all my patriotic decorations and we'll get my house all decorated up. So um, then I did, and this is one I did last year. I don't remember where I got it or who even stitched. I want to say maybe it's a Lizzie Kate. I've done done away with the pattern. 
but um, it's um, just in a frame that I had and I just distressed it and I just made, I just cut some strips together and tied them together. And then I've got a little blue star tied on it. But I thought this turned out real cute. And it's, it's got, you know, it, see, <laughs> it's sloppy. I know, but anyway. Um, but where I put it, nobody's going to see the back. So, but I thought it looked real cute. So there's that one. And then I've got um, this one here. I've got to um, show you. This is my Stitching with the Housewives June truck. And I actually stitched this last year and I stitched the um, the word June. And so last year when I finished it, you know, I was new to finishing. I was new to all this actually, pretty much new. And I didn't have any finishing stuff. I didn't, I had not bought any sticky board or anything like that. And um, what I did was I had some, <laughs> you won't laugh. I had some, um, cardboard, not cardboard, um, poster board. And so I cut that poster board and then I put some red felt behind it to keep, cause you know, this black shows, you gotta put something behind it cause it shows through. And so I had um, my letter, my word June, because I didn't cut it right and it was too close to the edge. I had some little holes kind of in the corners. My corners were horrible. So I had taken and I had some glue, some buttons to it to hide it. And I had a little, um, jute twine by one and it looked cute you know for the first time it was cute and now i had them all displayed on one of those houses things that you get at walmart so this year i had taken it apart i had taken it down and so this year when i pulled it back out and um i thought well i'm gonna fix this i want to because i was able to fix this truck and put it on some um mat um mat board and rip rack and um i actually tried this time I just bought regular mat board off of Amazon and I bought some two-sided sticky tape. I got this idea from Felicia at um, Mouse Potato Designs. She was talking about how much cheaper it is to make your own sticky board. And it, it worked out fine. I didn't have any problem with it. Um, one time I did get it stuck to my counter and I had to work to get it off, but I kind of figured out how to work with it better and it, it worked out okay. But um, so when I started taking the word gene apart, it just, it just tore up. I couldn't do anything with it. And so I just had the truck and I was like, well, what can I put that on? Cause I thought it looked cute. And I had this tin that I had bought at Hobby Lobby. This was back when you could get the 40% off coupon. Cause I used the coupon on it, the, the tin. And I can, if you're interested, I can leave the item number. The tin's $21. And, um, but y'all, I love this. I just, I think I like it better without the words personally, without the month. And so now I've got to, I've got July started. I had started July last year and had gotten off on the count and the month was almost done and I was fed up with it. So I was like, mm, I was gonna put it up. So I just restarted it this year. So I've got it started because now I'm excited about putting my trucks on these. I think it looks so cute. So that's, um, so that, that little mistake actually <laughs> turned out in my favor because now I, I like it so much better. So that's, that's that finish. And I believe that is all I've got. That's all my finishes. Um, I don't have, that's all my FFOs. I don't have any just finishes, but I will move on to my whips. Um, I gotta get me something to drink, just a second. Okay, let's see. I will show the one that I worked on the most. And it's my All-American by um, Primrose Cottage Stitches. I worked on them, this quite a bit. And I made, I feel like, quite a bit of progress. That's where I'm at. Last time you saw it, I think I had just gotten that little part done. So I finished the rest of the flag, got the words done, got the banner, the star, the word red. And this is going to be a set of three candles. So I got them started. I still got quite a ways to go, but I feel like I made some good progress. Um, I'm showing, it's kind of crooked there. There we go, that's better. But yeah, I'm still enjoying it. And I'm, my goal is I'm hoping to get it finished. Um, I don't know, um, that's my goal, we'll see. If I don't, I guess it'll be all right. Um, 
Then I worked on Brenda Gervais Word Play for June. And this is it. Now mine looks completely different because I switched out colors. And I'm also gonna leave that little flag off, um, the little the lady holding the flag. But this is mine. This is on a 30, uh, 28 count Lugana that I, I dyed with some teal and, ooh, um, let me find something to back that with. Some teal and evening blue. Let's see. Let me find. Let's see if I can put it on here if that would help. I'm back here, you know, different area and that sun. It's, it looks like there's, it's kind of, it's rainy today, but it, that, it looks, looks like it's um, a lot lighter back out the window than actually what it is. But this is it. And that's a pretty good color. So, but that's where I'm at on it. I got the rest, all those words done. And I got the lady done and the rest of that. So, I'm, I'm happy with my color choices so far. Um, here we go. I am, I'm very happy with it so far. So I'm gonna get some more work on that done. And those are the only two previous whips that I had going that I worked on this week. I did start, um, I'm gonna have to find something to put behind it. I got a glare, uh, the lights changed on me. I wonder if this will help. Let me see. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, no, this is this one's turning out okay. Here we go. This is my July truck of the um, truck of the month, and y'all, I, I was a member of the club, so I got them all, um, and I just um, I didn't want to stitch them all, and I just kind of got burned out on it as it went, but. Um, now I'm excited about stitching the trucks, but this is it. Now I am going to leave um, the chickens on, off. I don't, I'm not a um, chicken. And then I had thought about replay, uh, taking the cat off, but my son and his girlfriend have a cat. And so I'm going to leave the cat on there. Now their cat's black, so I can't change it, but we'll just say it's Raven. Their cat's name is Raven. And so um, I'll just, I'll call her Raven. But this is where I got on it. So that's my progress. And so far, it's keeping it in line so far. I have a hard time with borders. I don't, it's just, I'm just, I don't know. I just have a hard time getting them to match up. And so that is all my whips. Now for my plans this week, I have signed up for um, the, um, stitching um, summer camp, I guess that's what it's called. It's by Colorado Stitcher. She's on FlossTube. And um, now she does have a video where she explains it a um, lot more detail. But from my understanding is, um, it's gonna be really easy. This is, a, she's done it for quilting before um, because she, I think she's had a quilt store and um, um, all that, but um, this first year for cross stitch. And so you just pick any pattern you want to work on. It doesn't matter the size or stitch count, anything like that. But you have to post your picture, your beginning picture on Instagram. And it cannot be a previous whip. This has to be a new start. And so you have the whole month of June to finish it. And then at the last day of June, you put your finished work. And um, she will have giveaways and your name will go on a drawing for a giveaway. And she's doing it for, I uh, believe, June, July, and August. And I think th throughout the month, there will be other giveaways too. It's kind of way she talked. But there is also a Facebook group that you can um, join. But my understanding is to um, to get into, be able to get into the drawings, you have to post your pictures on Instagram because you can tag, you can tag her in that. But so I'm going to do, so I signed, I thought that was fun. And I thought, well, I can, you know, I'm going to try that. And so, um, I'm going to do um, Plum Street Samplers Cow Pile. This, was go this is going to be my June. So I've got to get it kitted. I've got everything I need. 
Um, and if I don't have the exact colors, I'm gonna switch it out. It's, it's not that big a deal to me. And um, I gotta get it posted on Instagram today and get it started so I can get this finished. But I just think this is so cute. And this, this'll be, uh, this be so cute to hang in my kitchen over the summer. So that's one that I'm doing. And then also I had bought um, Lori Holtz flowers in the, um, I was gonna say flowers in the attic. Yeah, I call this flowers in the attic all the time. And I know I'm getting it from that book, that V.C. Andrews book. It was a whole series and I read them when I was younger. Um, but it's flea market flowers. I do it every time. But this is it. And I know y'all have all seen it. I just think this is so pretty. And at first I was not going to do the sale because I, I just can't keep up with them. But you know, I got to thinking and I thought, let's just get it started. I've got all the floss, I got the material, the fabric, just get it started. And that way um, you do got it started because who knows when I would have started it before. And that way, if, and then who knows, maybe I'll keep up, but I know I, I'm too slow of a stitcher Everybody else will be down here next week stitching all this, and I'm gonna be right up here stitching this little this little petal, these little petals of this flower, whatever. Everybody else will be down in here about finished, and I'm gonna be up in the first corner. <laughs> That's how it always seems like, but um, but it's so pretty. So I am. I'm gonna start it and try it and try. And I'm not. I'm not gonna put any pressure on myself to to get it finished by a certain time and all that. Just as I would like to get it finished and framed, but um, but this is my fabric. It's the called for fabric I had ordered, and then these are my flosses. Y'all, they're so pretty. I just kind of got them, but they they're so pretty. Just love it. So that is my next start for this month, and I think it started today. I got to check, but I've got this. It's ready to go if it did. So um, here's that one. And that's really, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to work on these and then work on my July truck and just pull out stuff when I feel like working on them. But these are the two that I've got kind of plans for my, um, flowers, um, flea market flowers and, um, my cow pile with, um, plum samplers. So, um, I do have a little bit of haul, and I've got some stitchy kindness. I, I want to mention that. I had, when I had talked about Crystal Rowe and her channel, and I had talked about how I had thought she was stitching Nativity Row by Bent Creek Sampler, Bent, Bent Creek. And I talked about how it was so cute, and I was, I had put it in my wish list at one, two, three stitch. Well, she contacted me and she said, I'm done stitching that, I'll just send it to you. And I just thought that was so sweet. And she did, she sent it to me. And this is it, and I was so excited. I just, I love it, and thank you so much, Crystal. And, um, I just, isn't that cute? She also added two of the specialty floss. So this will be my first time using these. So I'm, uh, I'm excited, I've, I've, just through watching Floss Team in general, I know that you, I think it works better if you stitch on shorter lengths and I've heard some maybe use that wax. I do have, um, let me see, I think I actually have it right here. Hold on. No, that's not it. I did have it. I had bought it at the, but I, don't, I can't, I don't see it now. I bought it at the Shepherd's Needle. It's a, um, a wax, uh, something you use with your specialty threads. So I have that too. But, um, you know, that is, that was so nice and, that is one thing about this floss, this community. Everybody is so sweet and helpful, helpful and um, so kind. And I, um, I don't have anybody here like that to swap patterns with and charts with. So I, it was just, uh, I loved it. It was just so much fun. Um, so that was that. And I do have a little bit, a very small haul from One Two Three Stitch. Most of it's fabric. I bought um, 32 count um, vintage country mocha linen. There it is. Yeah, that's coming across real good. Isn't that pretty? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I might do this cow pile on that. I'm not sure. I've got to. I've got several I can choose from. 
And then I just bought some 32 count white um, Belfast linen. And then I just got some 30, 28 count Lugana. So, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna dye some of these. And I also started, I have, ever since I got back in a cross stitch and one of the first few videos, fall steps I watched, I can't remember exactly who it was. I used to watch, um, well, I still watch them. Um, I can't remember who it was. I was gonna say, you know, like everybody, I watched Stitching with the Housewives, but I don't think it was their channel that I saw this. Um, this um, Halloween Rolls by Lizzie Kate. I just always thought it was so cute. So I just decided I would um, at least start getting the charts together. I don't know when I'll start it. I do have a piece of, I have gray, which I, I think that light gray would um, work pretty on here. But, um, so, you know, I'm just going to start kind of slowly getting it together. And this will be another one that, because I know there's no way, even if I start it now, there's no way I'd get it done by Halloween. And so, um, I'm not going to put any pressures on myself. I'm just going to get it together and then start it. But I've always thought it was so cute. And so I'm going to, I've got that one going. And, you know, just when I place orders here and there, I'll just pick up one or two more, something like that. But, um... That's all my haul. I did, um, I don't really have um, any, um, I've already discussed my plans, what my plans are gonna be like for next week. Um, I don't have any, really any book updates. I did buy a new book, but I left it in the other room, so I don't wanna go get it. But it's Nicholas Sparks, The Return. And it, I bought it at Walmart. I was, um, Walmart's kind of, in my store, the, the book selection's kind of hit and miss. And so, um, but this time they had several, there was actually several that I was torn between. But I've read, I've read a lot of Nicholas Sparks. I kind of read him here and there. And um, this one's called The Return. And it's about a war veteran that has returned home to his grandfather's place. Now the grandfather has passed away under mysterious conditions, I guess. But um, also the grandfather evidently was, um, had bees. And so, this guy's gonna, um, I guess maybe kind of try to figure out what happened to the grandfather. And I think there's gonna be a, kind of sounds like a love connection between him and the sheriff, because it says that he's hoping the sheriff that she will um, help him uncover what happened. But then he also kind of indicates that maybe she's hiding something. And then there's gonna be a, a, a teenage girl that lives down the road that is, going to be involved in their story somehow or another. I'm not sure, but it, it sounded really good. And I always like his books. And, you know, he always kind of has an ending, the ones I've read, kind of an ending to me that I've, I've been like, oh, I didn't see that coming, you know. And so um, I did get that one. I'm still reading the Mitford, um, the first book. Um, is it Years in Mitford? Um, I'm still reading it. I've made quite a bit of progress. I really, yeah, it's not that I don't like, because I love this book. I really do. But it's kind of a slow read for me. And I know part of the problem is a lot of times at night when I go to bed and I read, because that's the majority of the time when I read, I fall asleep. And, um, but I'm kind of also thinking now I want to start another book to kind of read with it, you know. But, um, but I do, it's, it's a great book. And I, I really I already recommend it because it's funny. I, I, have the, I have found myself just busting out laughing at things that go on in this book. And this lady, Jan Karen, is the author. She is such a good author. Just the way she writes. I just love her style of writing. But um, that's it. That's all I've got this week. Uh, uh, I, I don't know if this is going to change my videos and I'm going to start filming during the week because now that I can sit back here um I might because I feel like by the time Sandy rolls around to film this weekend I'm not gonna have anything to show and so we'll see you know I don't know we'll just see how it goes but um I just thank y'all for you know taking the time to watch my video and I hope everybody has a great week and um I will see y'all next week <laughs>